these are celebrated in poetry, song, painting, and so many other ways. People who think India is a land of tree forests outside human settlements, they are sadly mistaken. In our country, there are so many cities and large towns. They have a wealth of greenery with a, with a variety of trees there. I am Shankar Rao, formerly at the Department of Biochemistry, in the Institute of Science. I, I was very fond of trees. I used to be most of the time sitting on trees. Yeah, why is this tree memorable? This tree is yeah, memorable. Yeah. That's because of its very showy class. And then it is, uh, it's not a very common one uh, in, the, in the cities. Bangalore has some iconic trees. To make a mention, we have Dadda Ala Dumara. Perhaps you know there is a very large banyan tree. Very close to Bangalore. It's near Magadi. Streets and avenues are named after trees. We have Sampegi Road, Margoda Road. Despite this garden city a tag and all that, Bangalore surprisingly lacks one thing, a record of its trees, their characteristics. I started working on trees of Bangalore early 90s. Inventory that I carried out has brought in about 800 species. 800 species. 800 species mm. of woody plants, mm. of which 527 of them are trees per se. But there are other woody plants, like you know, palms, they are also like trees. So we have palms about 110, 113. Then we have large shops which can be graded into uh, small, smaller trees. That also we have about uh, 100 and mm. Then uh, we have climbers, which are mighty. And mightier than trees, they are woody climbers. Mm. I think I have covered almost all trees. What were the challenges, main prominent challenges? The first thing is about the season. Trees mostly come to flower early, starting from early spring till the summer lasts. All the trees would be in flower at the same time. I can't be in all those locations at the same time. Yeah. That is the major challenge. Uh, I would be also going into some wilderness areas. Yeah, I have to confront you know, a certain uh, uh, you know, other biodiversity, uh, which is not very, very human friendly. <laughs> like for the scorpions, mm. snakes. That is why I said it is one time documentation. That's what I mentioned in the talk. Remember? Like development in Bangalore will keep going on, has been going on for a long time. So there will be a lot of uh, ecological change as well. Many trees sure, will get sure cut. There are changes there. Yeah. So uh, how do we make sure we monitor what's being, you know, wiped out? What's so being for wiped that out? you have to have a record. Tax as a record. They have to broaden some some roads. Have to have some more. Uh, what is it? You know flyovers and things like that, which amounts to cutting down several trees. They should think twice because fully grown trees and all these things, you know, if they are cut there and if they come up with the uh, sort of a, uh, an eyewash like, you know, we plant so many thousands of saplings and all that there. That is not going to be a viable argument at all because from the time that sapling grows into a tree gives all the ecological benefits, it would take some decades. I envision all cities 
where nature thrives with everybody's support. So they have to take people along and listen to any alternative propositions they give so that they, they save the ecology. This has been a garden city and they must take every step to see that it retains the tag of garden city. If they fail in doing that, that means that is a paradise lost.